It's falling, it's falling, it's falling. And it fell. Yay, Cree artists! What's up? Today, I'm going to teach you how to grab your acrylic beads the right way so you never struggle again. Okay, so if this has ever happened to you, that you take your bead and then plop, it drips right into the powder and you end up with a huge blob, or if you've ever had your acrylic lift from the sides or from the cuticle area, well, it's probably due to the fact that the beads are a little too wet so the acrylic drips down to laterals, sticks to the skin, and pff, it will eventually lift. So if you notice, your brush has this thing called the ferrule, which will make your brush have two sides since it's a bit flat or tapered right here and is what's holding the hairs in place. Okay, so to grab a perfect bead, what we have to do is this. Dip the brush to the very bottom of your glass or container to get it nice and wet. Then we are going to press one side of the brush against the glass to get rid of all the excess of monomer. And what we're going to do next is with the side that we didn't press against the glass, we are going to face it downwards and lean our brush at a 45 degree angle. So what I'm pointing at here is the only part of the brush that should come in contact with the powder. Just this part. So we dip it in the powder and press for three seconds and guess what? Our bead is not completely moist and do you want to know why? Because I pressed my brush a little too hard against the glass when getting rid of the excess monomer. So my brush wasn't wet enough and the acrylic ended up all sugary looking. Okay, so this is the right way to do it. Follow the same steps as before, but without applying too much pressure to the brush. Now it should have the right amount of wetness to grab a medium sized bead. Wait three seconds and all set. See how my bead is all nice and pretty? If you feel like you need a little bit more acrylic, well with the same bead just press it into the powder again and it'll get bigger. Now it's all set to be placed and worked on beautifully. So let's put it right here. We apply a little bit of pressure to place it, and while the bead is evening out on its own all by itself, you are going to clean your brush in a circular way to make sure it's not too damp with monomer so you can shape your bead, spray it out from side to side, and work on it perfectly. Super important that you clean your brush this way, in circles. By doing it like this, you will be able to keep the original shape of your brush and it will most likely last you for years and years and years. I guarantee it. What we really shouldn't do is clean it like this because you're kind of opening it up entirely and it will obviously lose its original shape and it will only make it harder for you when it comes to applications. Now here's a really cool tip. In order to grab a big size bead, what we are going to do is apply pressure only to the tip of our brush against the glass. This way we only get rid of a small amount of excess monomer and our brush will be wet enough to grab a good sized bead. And if you still feel like you need a bigger bead, just dip it into the powder one more time and the bead will increase in size. Remember that your brush needs to be wet enough to make beads this size. All set! There you go! Jumbo bead! Now if we want a medium sized bead, what we need to do is apply pressure from the middle towards the bottom. This referring to the brush. So. We press against the glass from the middle to the bottom of the brush and this will give us the right amount of monomer to make a medium sized bead. If on the other hand we want a smaller bead, we are going to press the entire body of the brush against the glass to get rid of a fair amount of monomer and what we will have now is just the right amount to grab a very 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 small bead. These smaller beads are usually used to fill in some spaces or the tip of the nail or for the cuticle area. So you are in absolute control of the kind of bead that you really need. Now one more thing, if you've ever had your acrylic nails look kind of bumpy from the inside, it's probably because you grabbed a bead like this one. This is a bead that lacks dampness, just like the one at the beginning, and even though it looks kind of ready, it still has a few dry acrylic spots, which gives it kind of like the sugarosity look. <laughs> All right, the sugary look, effect, sugar, whatever. <laughs> so this would be the wrong technique for grabbing acrylic beads, or at least it hasn't worked at all for me. I feel like my brush gets dirty right away and I'm kind of like scraping the acrylic onto the nail. This other technique hasn't worked for me either. Don't do it, trust me. I've experimented with this when you kind of move your brush in circles and make a ball out of the powder. The truth is it, it brought nothing but problems with my brush because it starts to get thicker. I start with a number six brush, which actually ends up feeling like a number eight. Why, you ask? Because the acrylic that builds up from within the brush starts to harden and we usually focus on the outer part of a brush when it comes to wiping it off with our towel while we work. So it's just something to keep in mind. Alright Cree artists, so if we get to master the cleaning and the bead grabbing technique, the application is going to be a million times easier. Just look, it's nice and even, you don't really have to follow that much, and the encapsulation and your work will be done in the blink of an eye. I hope this information was useful to you guys, don't forget to share this video with your colleagues that might be struggling, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember that I love you tons.